Google has just released Jamma 3. Jamma 3 is probably the most capable model that you can run on a single GPU. This is a family of lightweight AI models. You can run Jamma 3 on your computer using something like LM Studio or Olama. So Jamma 3 comes with four different variants. The lightest one has one billion parameters. You can easily run it on almost any device. If you have a computer with very basic requirements, you can easily run Jamma 3 1B on that computer. Then there is one with four billion parameters. There's also another one with 12 billion parameters. And then there is this one with 27 billion parameters. The download size of this model is 17 GBs and the download size of this 1 billion parameters model is only 800 MBs. In this video, we're going to test Jamma 3 with Klein and we're going to use Jamma 3 through Open Router. On Open Router, there is this free version of this 27 billion parameters model. You can use this model absolutely for free. As you can see, it costs $0 for per million input tokens and $0 for per million output tokens. So before you start, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on that like button as well. All right, to use Klein, make sure that you have downloaded Visual Studio code on your computer you can simply just go to this url which is code.vlstudio.com and then simply just click on this download for windows once you have downloaded and installed visual studio code on your computer the next step is simply just open vs code in here simply just create an empty project you can go to file and then click on this open folder and then you just choose an empty folder on your computer i have just created this empty folder inside my computer which is called camera 3 just click on this select folder and now let's just create an empty next.js project to create an empty next.js project you need to run this command simply just copy this command from here paste that command inside your terminal so this is npx create next app at latest simply just press enter and now it should create an empty next.js project it is asking me to give it a name i'll just give it a name yama3 test press enter now it is asking me to use all of these default options i'll just simply go with all of the default options and now it is just installing these dependencies all right just like that our empty project is ready now next step is make sure that you have installed client extension on your computer simply just go to this extensions tab and then look for client and in here you can find this client plugin simply just install this plugin and then you're good to go once this plugin is installed this is how it will look like you can find this client logo on the left side now next step is you can simply just go to this settings tab and in here you'll find this api provider make sure that you have selected this open router option now you need to provide this open router api key you can create that on open router website just go to open router sign in using your google account you are not required to attach any credit cards on open router simply just log in with google once it is done simply just click on this create api key button and then simply just create an api key name this I'll just name this Jamma 3. Click on create. Just copy this API key from here. Paste that inside open router. Click on done and you're good to go. Once you have pasted this API key in here, make sure that you have selected Jamma 3. Simply inside this model section, look for Jamma 3 and then you can find this Jamma 3 27B free so just choose that and everything should be good to go now. You can provide any custom instructions in here but that's a topic for a separate video simply just click on this turn button in here and now you can give it a command you can create anything that you want i have created this very detailed prompt to create services website using klein i'll provide link to this prompt in description you can find that there so this particular prompt is to create a digital marketing agency website in uk i have provided all of these different services in here and all of these different locations so what i'll do i'll simply just copy this prompt as it is right now i am inside this plan tab so i'll just click on that so let's just like provided requirements and after that we'll actually start developing our landing page so now inside this planning tab it has reviewed our requirements and based on that prompt requirements now it has asked some questions it is now creating this plan now we can actually go to the act tab and we can ask it to create a basic landing page first and then we can actually provide those details later on please create the basic landing page first and then we'll provide all of the missing details later first your task is to create a basic landing page for our digital marketing agency please create different sections on our landing page let's just provide this prompt only and then press enter and now it should start writing code so right now it has started modifying this source slash app slash pay.tsx file this is actually our default page so it has now started creating code for that i can see the speed is not that much fast it is like okay in comparison to cursor or any other paid models from open router so the speed is quite average but that's fine we are using the free version of jama 3 so that's fine all right so apparently the task has been completed let's just try to run our project and see what changes it has made 
I'll just run my project by simply running this command npm run dev. Okay, this is what it has created. It's a very basic page. It's not even a landing page. So let's just try to enhance this design. So I've just given this prompt to enhance the design. I'll just simply press on enter. And right now you can see the API cost is $0. So that's amazing. That's what we need. We are actually using this model absolutely for free. Okay, so it has just made some changings. So this is how our landing page is looking like right now. This is not even close to what we want. So let's just provide it a reference design and then ask it to create this design like that reference design there is this website that i just found so i'll just take a screenshot of this website and ask it to create that design like this website so to take a screenshot of this entire website page what you can do you can simply just use this plugin which is go full page you can just use or uh, download this plugin from chrome web store i'll simply just click on that and now it will take the entire screenshot of this website so this is how it is looking like right now i'll simply just click on download and download this image and in png after that now i'll ask it to create this design like this website please Please see the attached image. Please enhance our landing page design like this image. Please create different sections on our landing page. Follow the design pattern as it is. I'll just press enter. All right. So now it has started updating our landing page. Right now you can see the total API cost is still zero. So that means we are using still using this model absolutely for free. All right. So right now it has just finished this task. It has made changes to this page.tsx file. Let me just open. Okay. So this is how this page is looking like still it is not even close to what we want but yeah i mean you can keep asking for further updates and improve this design this is very basic this is not even close to what we want and again because we are using klein that is absolutely free to use we are using this model gemma 3 from open router so yeah i mean you can use it with klein it works but still you will have to spend a lot of time and be very specific on what exactly are you developing so yeah you can totally use gemma 3 with klein it is not best model for writing code but still it works the speed is good enough you can try maybe running this model locally on your computer using lm studio in fact i'll create a separate video on the on that topic i hope this video was helpful for you if you have any further questions you can leave comment in comment section i see you next video bye bye